guys. So today's DIY is going to be on these super cute perler butterfly earrings. I have seen these where they've been made into hair clips or they've made headbands with like a row of these and thought they were super duper cute and I just had to make a pair of earrings out of them. I loved them so much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's see how I made these. So you're going to need some perler beads. I used black and a magenta pink, but you can use whatever colors you want. You're also going to need two pairs of needle nose pliers, as well as a pair of round nose pliers, a hectagon pegboard, because you definitely are going to need a specific one, and a pair of tweezers, which of course are always optional. You're also going to need two earring hooks, as well as two large jump rings. And of course, you're going to need parchment paper to iron down your awesome project. And then last, but most certainly not least, you are going to need an iron. Make sure that it is set to the cotton setting while you are creating your lovely little project. So as you can see, I'm putting the pointy corner of this hexagon towards me and away from me because you need to make sure that it's in this specific position to make your cute little butterfly. So I'm just starting by making the outline of my butterfly. It just makes it so much easier to fill it in with those awesome pink perlers. So I'm just making the lovely little wings. I went ahead and did the middle outline first and then I'm just going to make the wings before I fill it in with that super cute pink magenta perlers that I absolutely love this color. It just makes the whole thing pop and I think it's amazing. So like I said, I'm just filling in this perler creation and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start ironing it down once I finish filling in with these really cute pink beads. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to very carefully iron this project where I'm going to iron one side, then let it cool down before ironing the other side. Smaller projects do take a lot less time when ironing because you want to make sure you don't iron it too much and you don't want to use too much force. And of course, this is only one of the earrings. If you want to turn them into earrings like I did, you want to make sure to repeat all of the process with the pattern and the ironing for a second piece. You can only make one butterfly at a time with the particular hexagon shape that I used for my pegboard because mine was a smaller pegboard. But you can see I have already made my second one. So you want to make sure you have two of them and just repeat the first process in creating it and then ironing it to get your second one. So we're not going to take those round nose pliers and we're going to poke a hole into one of the corner of our butterflies. I don't know what it is about using the corner for earrings. I just think it's super cute. Then I'm going to take my large jump ring. I'm going to open it up, feed it through that project and attach the earring hook at the same time. And I want to make sure that that is nice and secure so that my earrings don't fall off while I'm wearing them. And then we are just going to repeat that process the second time for our second earring. And then now you have these super cute butterfly earrings. I think they are so adorable. I don't know about where you guys are at, but it is still warm and sunny here. And I think it's actually the warmest it's been all year. So I was just feeling a little springy today and wanted to share this super cute butterfly earring DIY for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. As I said, you can change that pink to whatever color you like, especially if you're making them for a special outfit or if you're making them for a friend, family member, gift, whatever you want to do. I think they're super cute. Absolutely love them. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy them as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out all of my social medias. I think I gave a sneak peek on doing this about a month ago because I had just started playing around with the pattern. 
So make sure you go check all of my social medias because I am always posting sneak peeks and you never know what's going to end up on there. They'll all be in the drop down box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.